Thank you, Madam Speaker. Over the last two weeks, Fort McMurray residents have shown tremendous strength, strength and resolve. Now they wait to return to their community. Many people are looking at the costs ahead. This includes people paying off student loans who have had their source of income disrupted. To the Minister of Advanced Education, what is being done to ease the burden on these residents paying their student loans? Well, thank you, to, uh, Madam Speaker, and thank you to the member for the question. Uh, I'm pleased to say that we announced last week that all student loan payments will be automatically deferred for six months, interest-free for affected students, which mirrors a similar commitment that the federal government has made. And I ask that all students who have been uh, affected by the wildfires please reach out to uh, Student Aid Alberta to make sure that they can get their student loan payments deferred. Uh, when people have been displaced from their homes and their jobs, the last thing that they should have to do is uh, worry about costs like student loans, and I'm proud that our government is dedicating the necessary resources to meeting the needs of those affected by the wildfire. Thank you, Madam Speaker. In these difficult times, we have seen Alberta step up and demonstrate the strength and resolve that gets us through events like this wildfire together. Will the Minister of Advanced Education tell us how post-secondary institutions are playing a part in this. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, uh, and I'm proud of the uh, the actions that the post-secondary institutions have taken to step up and pull together to support the Keanu College students who have been affected by this. Uh, roughly 2,000 evacuees have been accommodated on post-secondary campuses all across the province, uh, and we've also had uh, all of our institutions reach out to say that they have spaces available if they're needed. Uh, they're doing their part, Madam Speaker, and I'm very proud of the support that these institutions have provided to people in need. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Given that we now know both Keanu College campuses and Fort McMurray remain intact, can the Minister tell this Assembly what his department is doing to help Keanu students impacted by this fire? Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I've, I've heard some cries from the opposition that we're shutting uh, universities down. They must be confusing our platform with their platform. <laughs> I've had, I've had the chance to talk to staff, students, and faculty at, at Keanu College, and there we're working with technical training institutes across the province to support students registered at Keanu to continue their studies. And again, I'll urge any affected apprentices to reach out to Advanced Education as soon as they're able so that we can ensure that they get the training, uh, the training that they need. I want students, staff, and the Fort McMurray community and all Alberta 